farm, I do the thing that I do when I'm all alone. When I do it, I'm in another headspace. And I know that I'm a nutcase. I guess that's what makes me good at this. It's what makes me have to do it. I don't really have a choice in the matter. But I was planning on doing it in front of everybody. And of course, the way that I envision it is never what happens. So it just disappoints me. And I feel like shit for a minute. But then that minute is over with. And then I'm proud of myself. But I have to wait. I have to be patient. Something that most of society isn't very good at. Oh my... Don't swear, baby. Don't swear. You see, I just caught myself swearing. I almost used a swear word and I stopped. Did y'all see that? Another fucking emergency vehicle. Swear words are not the problem. I just don't want to blaspheme. Cause it's not God's fault that everything's fucked up. And I'll curse anything, I'll curse everything but God. And I know that that's wrong because a lot of these things he created, or maybe he was part of it in some kind of way. that I need to stop swearing so much, but I've been working in food service for so long, like 15 years now, and I know that that is one hell of an excuse, but I can catch myself, yeah, I can stop myself if I really want to. people resting on my laurels pretending that God's got me covered even though I know that's true it's an excuse to do whatever I want to so I don't have to be better than I was yesterday
much fun as humanly possible, right? And a lot of people don't understand that, but you know, they don't have to deal with the blows and throws of this condition. You know, I call it a condition. If you think about it, like it's everybody else that's conditioned. It's everybody else. I'm not calling it a fucking disease or an illness. Because if I call it an illness, then it just makes it sound like I'm so sick and needy and desperate and all this shit. And they want people to be like that. Because when they're like that, they're easy to control. And then they're easy to exploit. And then everybody else thinks of them in a certain way. And so if they don't take their medication or they don't see a therapist or whatever it is, then, you know, oh, they're not complying. They're outcasts of society. They should be mistreated. They should have their Fourth Amendment rights violated. They should be taken away by the state and forced to undergo undergo psychiatric treatment. I mean, that shit happens, man. And these loving, devoted family, I mean, they let it happen. They encourage that shit because then they have to deal with their fucking crazy ass uncle or their, you know, emotionally erratic sister or auntie or grandmother, whatever the fuck. Let's face it. We don't have a solution to problems. So we trust people that say that they have solutions. We really don't have solutions, but we pay them outrageous amounts of money to not give us a solution. And then anybody that's not making money, anybody that's just doing it out of the goodness of their heart, they call that person a fucking quack because they don't have a license. When people have a license, they charge you $150 to not teach you any motherfucking thing. It doesn't make sense either, like if you think about it, therapy. You're literally paying somebody to just fucking listen to you. Help me bring about these revelations. Help me bring about these self-actualizations. All you have to do is just walk around and talk to yourself. The fact that so many people don't know this is insane to me. But then again, what do they say? About people that talk to themselves. You know, I mean, nobody wants to be that person. Because that person's a loser, right? Well, they say, oh, you're not crazy for talking to yourself. You're just crazy if you talk back. Well, (laughs) if we took any of that shit seriously, we would be very, very concerned. All right, let's just say that. But because of the fact that we know what we know, it's pretty obvious that they're just trying to control people and and make people think that something that's like a sign of emotional intelligence or a sign of, you know, camaraderie that a person has with themselves. You know, they, they, they think, oh, that, that just means you're, you're nuts. And so they stigmatize that and then have you convinced that there's something wrong with you. So then you go to some fucking shrink. So. (laughs) That's so funny, dude. Oh my goodness. There's a church billboard that says, yes, God still loves you. (laughs) I like that. I like that a lot. So simple, so short and sweet. Now, a lot of people would disagree with that. Because they, uh, want to convince you that God hates, uh, God hates fags, right? (laughs) That's kind of silly, dude. (laughs) I don't 
don't think you should say shit like that because that just eggs them on. I mean, who, who is anybody to make that bold of a declaration? You know, I know, maybe I need to clarify that I am doing literal satire when I say that people are going to burn in hell. I don't know that. I don't know that. I just have my speculations on the mark of the beast. I have my speculations on what it actually is versus what people are saying. They're saying this shit all over the internet because, you know, they don't know what else to do but like comment on things. You know, because I guess it's because like they feel like they don't have an actual say in how things are run in this country or any country really, just from, from what I've seen. Uh, What I've seen from, from people that live elsewhere, it seems like people are pretty hopeless when it comes to the government and the system and voting and all that shit. So I don't think it's just America that's down on our luck. But, uh,. I totally forgot what my original point was. That's so shocking. That never happens, right? That's the man in my head being sarcastic. Hmm. You know, it really doesn't matter what the original point was because you know, you always come back around. Yeah, yeah, it's true just got to have faith and trust the process and eventually you'll say all the things that you need to say. Uh, oh no, you were talking about gays. Yeah, I was talking about gays being mistreated. Well, here's the thing. Here's another reason not to do that. One of the main reasons why I became a liberal and I joined the Democrat Party and campaigned for Barack Obama is because of the fact that I thought the gays were being mistreated. So you're not just negatively impacting the people that you're... I mean, first of all, you're not really negatively impacting them anyway. You're just, like, trolling, right? When you call people names and you talk shit about them because of their lifestyle or whatever, when you troll them like that, it doesn't do anything but pretty much encourage them to continue on the path that they're on only now they're gonna do it hardcore way more hardcore 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 than they were before you interacted with them but now they're angry and they're bitter so they have something to be gay at you know so now they're not just gay they're gay at you right Well, I'm not going to call you homophobic, but I will say that if you're hateful or you're mean to gays, that's going to inspire people like me that aren't really, I mean, I guess we're gay-ish, but that's going to inspire people like me to go the other way. So whereas my thinking is a lot more conservative. I can understand like traditional ways of thinking and I can explain them very well because I'm an outsider so you know I don't really uh, vibe with Western society but I can explain why certain things make sense like the nuclear family well when I see people being mistreated all, all because it's something that they are that these people over here don't understand and then these people want to call themselves disciples or whatever the fuck and then they're talking to people like that it's just gonna like make me want to be just as transgressive you know just out of spite really so the whole reason that I was like a flaming liberal is cause like I thought the gays were being mistreated and I didn't approve of that shit. 
And ironically, uh, the whole reason why I um, sort of came back to like a more conservative stance on everything was, was because of gays. <laughs> so, isn't that kind of weird? So I went from being an LGB ally, LGB no T, ally, to being, you know, get the fuck back in the closet, I will direct you. <laughs> so, uh, the closet is this way, follow me. Um, no, I'm not gay, but like... I think women are really hot when they're quiet and like genuine and intuitive. I'm attracted to women, but that doesn't mean that it's a good idea for me to hook up with one, you know? Not that I want to hook up anyway, but you know, it's like the more that you accept gay in the culture, the more open people are going to be towards that. And so people that never really thought about it before, based on the power of suggestion, they're going to be like, huh, well, I've never been with a girl. I've never tried this homosexual experience. Maybe I should, you know? That's the problem with social liberalism. And if you mention that, you know, people think that you're a bigot. Now, personally, I don't think that they should push anything in the culture, but at the same time, it's like, well, how, how are we going to have culture then? Like, I, f I feel like human beings, they, they need something to mirror their behavior off of because we're just not that in touch with ourselves and like who we are and what we're supposed to do on this planet that, you know, we could just figure it out. You know, <laughs> obviously, I mean, people are doing the crazy shit that they're doing now because they have this existential crisis, right? But... Oh, anyway, I don't want to find a tangent there. I'll talk about gay shit, but it's just amusing because like, I'm probably like the least homophobic person in the world, but like this whole culture is just it made me go the other way because it's just not a positive thing. If it's not positive for like the kids growing up, then I'm not going to agree with it. And I don't care, like, whose feelings get hurt and how many rights go away. Like, I don't give a shit. I mean, I don't think... I don't think we have rights anyway. I think that's all a lie. I think that, like, we make our own reality. So the stuff that people want to believe, that's the stuff that comes into fruition because they believe it, you know? All of that will manifest what manifest destiny or some shit and that what that is <laughs>